Hi, welcome back to Ask a Monk. Today's question comes from Stiltson. If a person succumbs to, to a craving for a drug, e.g. cannabis, perhaps because they are only beginning to understand how and why to control all addictions through meditation, is it right to continue meditating in that altered mind state? <laughs> it's a difficult one. Um, certainly with all addictions, um, that's really the only way you can start. Um, you, you, you can't be expected to, in many cases you can't be expected to stop cold turkey and one of the, the, the first steps is to observe the addiction itself, observe the state of, of um, intoxication. Um, unfortunately, it's an intoxic intoxicated state, and therefore, it's antithetical to mindfulness or to clear awareness. So, um, <clears throat> the ability to do so is limited. Um, but it's it's something to keep in mind. With all addictions, is uh, our acceptance will help us to overcome it. Our acceptance of our addiction, our um, uh, acknowledgement of it, that it yes, it, it does exist, we have this addiction, yes, we do want this, um, this object, uh, we do like the sensations and so on, and that's why we're using this clear, this mantra, um, the clear thought reminding ourselves of what it is. It's an affirmation of the state, not saying that this is good, but say, saying that this is how we um, feel about it, and, and this is how we perceive it, and this is the nature of it. Once we do that, um, what, what happens is we start to get bored of it. We start to, um, we start to um, see it for what it is. We, it loses its magic. It loses the allure. It loses this illusory um, attractiveness. Um, the, the, the truth about it we, we come to see that the truth about it is that there's nothing really attractive or desirable about the object at all. We come to see that it's something that's made up of component states that arise and cease, that come and go, and that are no, in, no, uh, in no way, shape, or form um, satisfying. And so we see that uh, there's no reason to go after it. It's, um, I, I would say that... Um, I, I'm worried that it's kind of a cop out here where uh, people say, well, you know, uh, I may be intoxicated, but at least I'm meditating on it. Um, and that's sort of getting into the idea that you can somehow meditate in an intoxicated state. And I want to make it clear that the reason why we don't do drugs and take alcohol is because the state of mind that it creates is uh, more or less uh, the opposite of the kind of states of mind that we're trying to create, which are clarity of mind. Um, I would say that cannabis is not a very addictive drug, um, and and alcohol as well. I think it's probably not so addictive either physically, um, though some people say it is, and there are certainly people who say it's genetic and so on. Um, but uh, I w I would say you know try to wake yourself up and and say to yourself you know look this isn't helping me, this isn't uh, providing any benefit, and it's certainly not giving me clarity of mind. Uh, and so giving it up and trying to find an alternative that that brings clarity of mind, i.e. meditation. Okay, so I hope that uh, helps out. Thanks for the question.